Hello, everybody. This is a uh, live PE lesson for K through two, and uh, it'd be a year and the end review. So here we go. Today, I wanted to review what we did this year in our kindergarten first grade class. You'll see here uh, our learning target. I can move my body in different ways. New York State Standard 1 and in kindergarten is about IDing different types of movement. So it's really important that we think of all the different movements we did this year. And then uh, you'll be assessed on a rubric. Uh, you got to get a four, a three, a two, or a one. But nobody's going to get a one today, right? No, that's right. You're all probably fours by now, right? It's the end of the year. And next, uh, we're gonna go over the agenda. We have an intro, our warm up that we always do, activity, cool down, and we're gonna end with some mindfulness. So, boys and girls, if you could find your own personal space, and with your own personal space, I really want you to uh, explore. So, everybody can stand up. Oh, that's great, Charlie, how you're doing that. Yeah, you're just finding your own space. Your own space is so important when we have movement because we don't want to get hurt, okay? So what I want you to know is your personal space is yours, and we don't want to push our friends, and we don't want to bump into people. So everybody just clap your arms. So everybody has their own space. Oh, great job, Shakira. I like how you're twisting your arms, too, to make sure you have space above. That's a really good job. Uh, so let's start with one of our favorite warm-ups. Let's start with our alphabet warm-up, okay? And our alphabet warm-up is something you all know by now. Remember the first couple weeks you came in, you were learning the alphabet? Well, uh, let's do an A stretch. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's, that's good, too. You can keep it on your arms. Good job, Jose. That's how you can have an A here, or you can have an A up top. Kind of looks like a triangle, too, right? So that's our A stretch. Hmm. What's the next letter? What's the next letter? Anybody? Hands, hands. Okay. Oh, B. Excellent answer, Sally. Good, good, good. So let's see. How can I make my body into a B? Um, all right. So I can. This is kind of like a B, right? Uh, here I am, kind of like a B. Uh, very good. Oh, that's excellent. A lowercase B. Oh, okay, everybody, let's try that. Let's try uh, Jerry's lowercase B. So we're going to keep our upper body straight and have our legs kind of bent. Okay, so that's a lowercase B. Really good job today. Uh, shake it out, shake it out. Let's just shake it out a little bit. Next, what I want you to do is think of the letter C, but we've been doing standing poses do you think we can do it on our, our gym floor? Do you think you can lay down and make a C? I'm going to try. Let's see if you can try. Okay, that's kind of a C, right? Um, oh, you don't want to lay down? That's, that's okay, yeah. I, I like how you did it with your arms. That's another C, right? Everybody try this C. Very good. Imagine if we were holding this C for like five minutes, we would get so tired. Okay, so shake it out. We're still doing our warm up. We're still doing our warm up. But guess what? We're moving our body in different ways, right? And that's what our learning target was for today. So um, let's stop the alphabet stretches. And what was the other kind of stretches we did this year? Who can tell me? Oh, excellent. Siklali. Good idea. We did number stretches. Okay, Siklali says we did number stretches. So let's start with the easiest number. The number, yeah, number one. There we go. So nice, big, straight. This could be a letter I or a number one. I remember at the beginning of the year, we would get those confused, right? Because you're like, oh, the one looks like, like the I. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. That's a good way to remember it, the letter I. And remember, at the beginning of the year, you, you made your hand into a ball, like the exclamation point. Um, has a ball on it, and the letter I at the top has a ball on it. And you're super excited to use that exclamation point. Good, good, good. How about the number two? Hmm. I'm going to try to stand and do a number two. Oh, really good job. Really good job. I like how everybody's staying in their space. 
yeah, you get kind of, oh, that's true. You do get kind of wobbly on one foot. How could you do it with two feet? Do you think there's any way to do it? Maybe we can like bend our legs and kind of go like this. Oh, you're right. That does look like an S. That could be an S or it could be the number two. We're just trying to do the best we can. Remember, what do stretches do for our body? Albert, yes, they, they help warm your muscles up, right? Remember I said at the beginning of the year, your, um, your muscles are kind of like hard spaghetti when you come to class. And then as you move on through the year and through your warm-up and you learn that your muscles, when they get hot and sweaty, guess what? They become like loose spaghetti, right? So this warm-up is part of that, okay? So next, what I want you to do is think of another number Maybe two numbers at once. Hmm. Hmm. Who's got a, a who can think of a, a number that has two numbers in it? Seven? Oh, that's a good try. That's a good try. But no, no, seven. Seven doesn't have two numbers. What numbers? Let, let me think about it. I think it comes after nine. Oh, hey, yeah, that's excellent, Alan. Yes, after nine is ten. So let's go here. And here. That's good. Make a circle and the straight line, just like the number 10. That's amazing. Now shake it out, shake it out again, shake it out. Okay. Um, oh, Stephanie has her hand up. Stephanie, yes. Okay. Oh, you want to try to do a hard two numbers? What, what were you thinking? 44? Oh, that's such a big number. Yeah, yeah. I remember when we can only count to like 10, right? We were using our fingers in PE class. We were talking through the through the uh, first 10 numbers. Now you want to do a 44. Well, how about this? Uh, why don't we get with a partner and I'll walk around and I'll see the partners make 44s. So I'm going to give you a second. Everybody, whoever is your closest person to your elbow, put out an elbow. Okay, good job. Everybody's got their partners. Elbow partners, good. You can find space around, and I'm just going to walk around and look at the numbers, okay? And we're going to try the number 44, but guess what? Since there's a lot of you in class today, there's about 25 of you in class today. Um, oh, we're missing somebody, 24? Okay, so 24 people in class today, so that means there's be 12 groups, okay? So 12 groups, and guess what? We'll let, we'll let uh, a couple people choose 44, but everybody else can choose their own number. So everybody... Get with a partner and make numbers. Okay, so I'm walking around. Oh, that's good. Oh, you guys are simple. <laughs> Everybody, look at this. We have two number ones. So that's 11. That is that is a two-digit number. Good job. And then all oh, the group over here, look at that. A one and a, oh, like a seven. Yeah, yeah, that's a seven. Good job, good job. So see, as we go through uh, physical education class, it's really important that you understand that uh, moving comes in so many different ways, and we, we just want to move our body and have fun. Um, so we're going to get up, everybody up, and go back to your spaces, everybody on your poly spots. Okay, good job. Everybody at their poly spots. Oh, you got some wiggles? Yeah, you can wiggle it out. You can wiggle it out. There you go. Shake, shake. Okay. So the next part of our warm-up is to review some of our shape stretches. Okay, so um, what are some shapes we learned this year? Oh, great answer, Jamal. A diamond. Okay, a diamond. Hmm. I'm going to think about this one. A diamond. Um, I guess this is kind of like a diamond if you took my head away, right? That's a good diamond. And what else? Um, is this a good diamond? Oh, that could be a diamond in here in my legs. Um, can I make it? No, it's more like a triangle. It's like a square. Okay, so good job with the diamonds. And another shape, anybody? Anybody? Larry, what do you have? What was that? Oh, Larry says a circle. Ooh, a circle's kind of like the letter O, right? So let's uh, let's make a circle, okay? Uh, there you go. Circle could be a zero or a letter O. That's really good. Okay, and shake it out again, shake it out, shake it out. You wanna do one more shape or you wanna move on to something else? Okay, one more? All right, all right. I'm gonna make a shape and you have to tell me what shape I am. Okay, so everybody, close your eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, I see you peeking, Larry. Close your eyes, that's funny. 
end of the year, Larry's still peaking. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to make a shape, and you tell me what shape it is. Did anybody know what shape that was? Oh, a rectangle. Yeah, you got it on the first try. All right, everybody clap. That was really good for Paul. Paul was right. Okay, so we're moving through our warm-up. Remember, we're reviewing the whole year in this lesson because it's the end of school. So it's important to remember, um, you'll notice I haven't used the rubric yet, right? Where you get a four or three or two or one. Guess what? Right now you're all fours because we haven't even started the main part of the lesson. We're still warming up just to review all that warm up. So when you come back in first grade, you know exactly what's going on. Okay? So everybody, give me one last shake. Shake it all out. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Here we go. Now we're gonna do some animal stretches. Okay, so here's an animal stretch. Everybody, can you show me a giraffe? Good, the long neck up here at my hands, right? So that's a giraffe, that's really good. Okay, um, another animal stretch, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, we could, to yes, we could totally do a bird. Hmm, a bird stretch is kind of moving, right? So let's all just, Go in our personal space, around in our little poly spot, and flap your wings like a bird. Yeah, that's really good. Can anybody think of another animal that is, that we could do standing still? Oh, Ashley, yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, we could totally do that. All right, Ashley says we could do a snake standing still. So you just kind of, kind of curve your body and make yourself into a snake. Oh, good job. So, we've done our alphabet stretches. We've done our number stretches. We've done our animal stretches. We've done our shape stretches. Who remembers the last kind of stretch we do standing still? What loosens up your muscles really good? Who, can rem who remembers? Oh, you forgot? Everybody forgot? How about our fruit and vegetable stretches, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the easiest one to do? Who can tell me the first uh, veg uh, apple? Uh, excuse me. I gave you the answer. Oh, <laughs> apple stretch was the first uh, fruit stretch we did. So everybody, show me your apple stretch. Oh, that's really good. That's really good, that apple stretch. All right. And shake it out, shake it out. Who can think of another one? Anybody? Oh, broccoli. Yeah, I remember broccoli has like the tree leaves on the top. I remember when somebody was like, I don't like broccoli. And then somebody else said, I like broccoli with cheese. And I'm like, I think everybody likes broccoli with cheese, right? So we were broccoli with our big arms up. Good job. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So that was one fruit and one vegetable. Hmm. What's the next one we should do? I wonder. Anybody have another stretch of another vegetable or fruit? Oh, okay, Shakira, go ahead. Oh, she's showing us. Oh, that's great. I like how you're doing that. She's using her imagination. She said that she is celery. And so she's just nice and straight. But like sometimes celery has a little bit of a top, right? A little bit of leaf on the top. Um, sometimes the celery has a little bulb on the bottom, so you can kind of bend. Good, everybody. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, remember, when you fall down, you can just get back up, okay? I know we get wobbly when we're working on our balance, which reminds me, um, how about we do one of our creative stretches, right, when we work on balance? So here we are, and the stretch I want you to work on is the airplane stretch. So I'm going to put my arms out. And I'm going to lean forward, and I'm going to fly like an airplane. Okay, and I'm going to walk around and see you do that. And if you try it on your left foot and you're super wobbly, maybe try it on your right foot, because sometimes one foot's got more balance. Oh, Jose, that's good. That's good. I think you might have the record. Should we do a challenge to see who can balance the longest? No, not today. Okay, yeah, we don't have to do it today. Remember that one day we did the, the challenge to see who could balance on their foot the longest? 
I, I, I can't remember who won. Who remembers who won? Oh, it was Christina. Yeah, Christina stayed on her foot the longest. All the rest of us were super wobbly. What'd she do? Like two minutes. Yeah, that was good. Everybody clapped for her. That was a good day. That was a good day. Okay, so we did all of our stationary stretches. Obviously, we have a lot more, but we're going to stop that, and we're going to continue with our warm-up. And I want to see if you remember all the different ways we can go from one side of the gym to the other. Okay, so um, who remembers one way? Oh, Sikali, yes, yes, we can gallop. All right, so I'll show you the gallop and then we'll all practice. All right, so here we go. And can anybody tell me what I'm doing? How am I galloping? Let's, let's think about that, how am I galloping? Oh, that's right, you kind of go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Heel toe. All right, so I'm going to watch all of you practice the gallop from one side. Why don't we all go on this white line right here, and we'll go to the other white line. So everybody, I'll give you a second. Okay, oh, no pushing, no pushing. Everybody, no pushing. Okay, all right, good job, good job. Okay, everybody, make sure you have a little bit of space on your side. Oh, yeah, slide the line down all the way down to the end. Good job. All right, I'm going to gallop with all of you. Ready? Go. I think all of you did the gallop perfectly. You even have the, I heard somebody making the horse sound, like clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. That's excellent, okay? Uh, who could think of another way we could go across this gym floor? Skipping, yeah, skipping. Oh, skipping was so hard at the beginning of the year, remember? Let's practice, let's just all skip all around the gym, okay? When I say go, I want you to skip. Ready, go. You know what? I forgot my music player today. Oh, I think I left it in my car. Remember that time we did the freeze game when we were skipping and you, you had to freeze when the music stopped? That was a fun game, right? It was kind of like musical chairs, but with skipping. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Uh, of course, on my last day, I forget my, my speaker. I apologize. Okay, so what else can we do? Um, yes, we could totally do that. Why don't we do our slide or shuffle? All right, remember shuffling, you go slide, step, slide, step. If you want to do it slow, you can do it slow, or you can try to do it fast. Okay, remember when we were playing that basketball game and you were, uh, you, were, you, were, you were sliding? You were like a little maze, right? Yeah, so why don't we practice that? Okay, I'll give everybody a chance. Slide, step, slide, step, slide, step. Slide, step, slide, step, slide, step. Oh, that was really good. Okay, everybody, so we're moving along. We're still doing all our local motor movement. Do you remember that? I said when we're stationary, we're, we're, it's non-loco, because locomotive, like a choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo. When we move, we're like a choo-choo train. That's called locomotor. And when we're not moving, that's called non. And non means not, right? It means no movement, okay? Uh, you're not moving from one side of the gym to the other. All right, so we got our slide, our skip, our gallop. Oh, yes. Yes, Jose, that's right. We forgot leaping. Oh, let's practice leaping. Okay, leaping was super hard. I remember a lot of you wanted to jump on two feet. And some of you uh, remember it's just like hopping. Remember, hopping's on one foot. Why don't we just practice hopping first? Okay, everybody set any foot you want. Yeah. Yes, he clouded. Christina, yes, any foot, any foot. Ready, go. One, two, three. All right. How about three jumps? One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, so we did our hopping and our jumping, which helps us get ready for our leap. All right, so I'm going to start over here. I'm going to give you one last demonstration this year for the leap. So you take off on one foot and you land on the other one. Imagine that this line in the middle of the gym is water. You don't want to get your new Jordans dirty. So what are you going to do? You're going to jump over the mud puddle or the water. Okay, everybody, let's practice. Ready, set, go. All good. It's okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. 
If you need to step back a little more and run, that's totally fine. Good job. All right. Shakir, yeah. Oh, you're fast. Yes. Well, listen, I don't want anybody to get hurt, so don't run too fast, okay? Remember, leave from your left and land on your right if you want. Whatever you're more comfortable with. You don't have to pick. Oh, excellent. Okay. All right. Why don't we stop, everybody? You can go to the water fountain and get a, get, have a water break. Um, today, what we're going to do is if you have... Uh, Black shoelaces, you can get water first. All right? And if you have uh, red or orange or green shoelaces, okay? And if you have gray or pink or purple shoelaces, all right? And if you have white shoelaces, good, good. And then everybody come back over here to, so I can talk about the assessment for today. So we did our warm up, okay? And remember, our learning target is make our, we can move, and we know how to move. Um, and remember, I always talk about those standards. Who could tell me what it means to know or identify? You ever heard the word identify before? Oh, like you identify a picture? Yeah, 100%, okay? And so you either get a four or three or two or one. And we did our intro, we did our warm up, now we're on our activity. Okay, so today's activity, um, you're going to see, I'm going to be walking around with my little assessment here. You can either get a four, a three, a two, or a one. What's a four? A four is you do everything perfect. But guess what? You're allowed to have one or two mistakes, and you still get a four. And then a three, you could do almost everything, but you have a little bit of errors. A two, you need some practice, right? Remember when... Dr. S was uh, throwing the ball, and I threw it too high, and I was like, oh, man, I need to practice. So uh, if you get a two, that just means you need practice. And then a one, a one means you're not there yet. It means you probably, um, maybe you missed that day, or you, you forgot. And it's okay, because guess what? All week, we're going over the end of the year, and so you have other opportunities to showcase your skills. Cool. All right, so your, your teacher... Ms. Hernandez gave me your workbook, all right? And so I looked through your workbook, and I saw some really cool things that we can turn into PE, okay? And so look, a crocodile, a dodo, a dog, a butterfly, a lion, okay? So the first thing I was thinking we could do is we could all pretend we're owls. So everybody, let's move around the gym, and we're going to pretend we're owls. Ready? Who, who knows what letter owl starts with? Owl. Oh, no, not an A. Oh, and oh, yes, owl starts with the letter O. So let's all who. That was really good. Let's see your, your book. Let's see what else you learned this year. I got it. You learned about different colors, okay? So when I say go, I want you to go um, as fast as you can to whatever color I call out. So let me look. Um, everybody, I want you to go to the broccoli colored poly spots. Oh, yeah. They're all over. There's so many green poly spots. Oh, yeah. No, once you get there, just stay. Good. Everybody knows the color green. That was super easy, right? Grass is green. What else is green? Broccoli. Yeah, we just talked about that. Okay, so can you tell me how this creature moves? And you'll see. Oh, it's a slug. Do slugs move fast or slow? Slugs move slow. So everybody, I want you to move as slow as you can across the gym. So I'm going to go to Very slow, very slow, very slow, very slow. Good, everybody come back, come back, come back. That was fun, huh? So we move slow, but I know a lot of you like to move a different way. So let me look here and find something that moves in a different way. All right, 
So, what is a grasshopper? Yes, it's a grasshopper. Oh, cricket? No, it could be a cricket, but I think this one's a grasshopper. That was a good try, good try. All right, so grasshoppers jump, right? So let's try to jump all around the gym. Good, keep jumping, keep jumping. I'm gonna look around and give you some scores, okay? Yeah, keep jumping. So now you can choose between jumping or galloping. Like a horse. Oh, yeah, that's an animal too, a horse. Yeah, so you can gallop or you can jump or you can leap. You pick. I'm just going to just gonna walk around and watch. Oh, good. Oh, I like how you're jumping. Yeah, you want to land. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, everybody look at Jerry is using his arms to power himself, to give himself more jumping ability. Okay, yeah, that was really good, Jerry. Excellent. Oh, Christina. Yeah, Christina. Um, come over here, Christina. Okay, Christina. We win the game. Do we go on one foot? Yeah, it's just one foot, one foot. Okay? So, uh, do you want to try again? And I'll give you a different score. You want a high score? Great. Okay, you go ahead. Good job, Christina. Good. Okay, everybody freeze. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, what does that mean? Who remembers what my hand means? Excellent. When the hand's up, you need to listen. That means I'm going to teach something. Yeah, so let me, let me keep teaching, okay? Everybody, good job. Excellent listeners, you remember almost everything from your workbook. Let's see here. Um, oh, yeah. So what I wanted to talk about was a little bit of food. And so if we eat chips, do you think that's going to make us run fast or make us run slow? Probably a little bit slow. Yeah. What if we eat a banana? Is a banana good for energy? Yeah, yeah. And remember, we talked about the go, slow, and woe foods. So is a banana a go food, a slow food, or a woe food? That's right. It's a go food. Banana, fruits, and vegetables are go foods. But what about that chip I showed you before? A woe food. Yes, yes, it's a woe food. And remember, woe foods, you can have once in a while, but you wouldn't want to, like, have chips every day, okay? So that's really good. All right, so I asked you a couple questions about that. Now I have another activity for you. I heard that sometimes during recess you like to play charades. Who likes to play charades? Oh, you do? Oh, there, you like to play charades? Yeah? Are you good at it? Yeah? Oh, Christina, you're good at it? Okay, cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to show you the card and all of you are going to try the, the, the movement. And I am not going to tell you yes or no. That was karate, right? Yeah, karate. Do you remember these from your game? Ooh, this next one's going to be tricky. That's right, fish, fish swim. Ooh, this next one's pretty good. Can anyone pretend you are this? Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. And then how about, can you do this? Might be confused by what that is. Marching, right? Marching was good. Okay, so we marched. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, ah, your teacher gave me some more cards of a matching game. And so I want you to look at the card and pretend you're playing the sport. When I say go, go. Oh. 
Oh, that's excellent. How about, ooh, what's this sport? I know some of you like this sport the most. Yes, so let's try it, ready? Good for ten. I like how you're playing for ten. Keep your head up. I'll keep your head up so you don't bump into each other. Larry, come here. Larry, come here. Listen, Larry. If you uh, if you think you're gonna bump into somebody, slow down, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right, go, go, pal. Oh, that's good. Look, Jose is pretending he's a goalie. He's got his hands up. He's blocking the ball. That's really good. You know, it's fun when we pretend, right? You can pretend at home with your brothers and sisters, or you could pretend with your cousins, uh, even your grandma and grandpa, all your family you could pretend with, right? And so um, I pretend with my son all the time, and we have a lot of fun. All right, so let me look through the workbook one more time, see if there's anything else cool we could do. Um, oh, yeah, this one's going to be fun. Here it is. Okay, so my favorite animal is this one. Okay, so can you walk around the gym like an elephant? Yeah, elefante. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's good. Elephants, oh, you're right. They do make a lot of noise. You make me want to stop. You want to stomp all around. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Good. Let me check on our time. We're doing really well. We have a, a little bit of class left, okay? And what I want to do is I want to give you another opportunity to just take a break. So everybody, if you want to get water, get water. If you want to sit on your poly spot, sit on your poly spot. And I'm going to get the next stuff ready. Yeah, you can just go get water. Or you can sit on your spot if you don't need one. Okay, cool. All right, and remember, hey, no pushing. At the, okay, yeah. One, two, three, save some for the fishes. Ah, oh, that's a funny one. I like it. You remember what I said. All right. Okay, everybody, let's come back. Everybody's coming back. And you'll see here, um, I have a bunch of bean bags. And everybody, we have green or we have like this orangey color. I think they used to be red, but they were out in the sun so long, they're kind of orange. Okay, so um, what I want you to do when I say go, the bean bags are spread all around. I want you to uh, find a bean bag. Ready, set, go. Excellent. Hey, well, remember, if somebody's buy a bean bag, just let them have it, and you go another one. There's there's a hundred bean bags all around. Excellent. Okay, so everybody, grab a seat, sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So here we go. So we have our bean bags, okay? And the first thing I want you to do is, uh, can you put the bean bag on the back of your hand? Stand still, don't walk around. All right, it's on the back of your hand. Okay, is there any way to put it on your elbow? Can you rest it on your elbow? Good, yeah, 100%. Okay, and then your shoulder. But everybody, we're not walking, we're just standing still, thank you. I'm just moving around so you can see me. Good, everybody stand in your poly spots. Good, can you, how about your knee? Can you balance it on your, oh, that's, yeah, that is more like my leg than my knee, I'm sorry. Good, good, good. How about your foot? This might be kind of tricky because you got to balance. It's a double balance, right? Because you're balancing on your foot and you're balancing on your shoelaces. Oh, there it is. Ah! It's okay to wobble. Maybe your other side's stronger. Let's all try it on the other side, okay? All right, and now, let, why don't we try to walk around with it on the other side? So everybody, can you walk with your bean bag on your hand? Good, good. On the back of your hand, good, yeah, of course. And then how about on your elbow? This is gonna be tricky to walk with it on your elbow. Can you do that? That's really fun. Excellent. And can you walk with it on your shoulder? Don't bump into people. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Good. Okay. Excellent. 
Okay, so let's put our bean bags. Uh, oh no, that's right. Of course, yes. Let's see if we could throw and catch the bean bag. I, I forgot about that activity. Yeah, we did that a couple months ago. Yeah, you're right. Okay, throw, catch. Remember, try to catch with two hands. Look at it when it goes up and when it comes into your hands. And when it's up, when it comes in your hands. Okay, that's really good. And you know what? Since we're here, I'm going to give you a little challenge. I am going to make a circle with my hula hoop. Okay? And I want you to try to, can you toss, not throw, toss. Who remembers the difference between a throw and a toss? Lorena, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A toss is underhand and a throw is overhand. Good. Good. Thank you. All right. So find a hula hoop around the gym. And when I say go, I want you to toss the hula hoop in. I mean, toss the beat bag into the hula hoop. Ready, set, go. Yeah, good. Oh, remember? Yeah, when you're tossing, yeah, you might want to step with that other foot, right? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, you can. You can challenge yourself if you kind of step back. Remember, we're not throwing it overhand. No, no, no. Jose, don't throw it overhand. Yeah, watch see Clawley. She's throwing it, tossing it underhand. Yeah. Let's step back. I'm going to step with my other foot. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. You can leave the bean bags in the hula hoops and come back over here. So we are moving along on all of this. And what I want to say to you is you're doing a great job. I've been walking around and, you know, using my clipboard to try to give you a score. And what I want you to know is so far, everybody's got a three or a four. So that is excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So you'll see that there are balls in the corners of the gym. These are wiffle balls, right? Remember, they call them wiffle balls because when they go through the air, they make a noise and they have little holes in them. Remember, I don't want you to put your fingers in there because it could get stuck. And I don't want anybody to get hurt today. So uh, everybody, when I say go, uh, go pick up a wiffle ball. Ready, set, go. All right. And now um, what I want you to do with the wiffle ball is I want you to try to Toss it up and catch it with two hands. And toss it up and catch it with two hands. Did everybody do that? Yeah, all oh, standing still. Yeah, don't walk around. I don't want you to bump it. Toss, catch. Toss, catch. While you're doing that, I'm going to walk around with my clipboard and check out your tossing ability. Oh, wow. David, you're really good. You can catch with one hand that's excellent I like how you're looking at the ball and catching it with one hand oh Christina come here, come here. hey if we're having a problem with, uh, with the ball you can switch to a beanbag that's okay yeah yeah totally go grab a beanbag okay all right, so we've been doing this a couple minutes now. Everybody, when I say go, go put the ball back in the corner where you were. Ready, set, go. All right. And come back over here. Now, everybody, I know you, you love when we play with our super bounce balls, but remember, don't get discouraged if you have a problem catching it, okay? So I want everybody just, um, when I say go, on the left-hand side of the gym, there are the bouncy balls. So everybody, you're going to get a partner and one ball. Ready, set, oh, you're right. Elbow partner, whoever's closest to you on the elbow. Good, good. And, you know, um, next time we're going to pick partners a new way. I got a new fun way to do it. Okay, ready, set, go. All right, so one partner has the ball, and what I, all I want you to do is drop and catch. And what do we want to use? Our eyes, right? Two hands and our eyes. Everybody try. That's really good. All right, and then as, um, as you practice, 
I want you to do three times and then give it to your partner. Keep your eye on the ball. Though. Yeah, three times and switch with your partner. That's excellent. All right. Cool. All right, I'm going to walk around and give you some scores again. Good. Good. I like Oh, excellent. Yeah, I see that you're you're yeah, you're looking at the ball. Yeah, that's how you know you're good at it, right? And yeah, the balls are kind of big for your hands, so you're only you always yeah, just use two hands. Good job. All right. Hey, Larry. Yeah. Um, so, Larry, today, how do you think you are? You think you're a four, a three, a two, or a one? You think you're a three today? Yeah. Oh, you need to practice some things? Yeah. You know what? By the end of the week, I bet you're going to be a four, right? Cool. Yes, yes. All right. So, everybody, now what I want you to do is um, hold, call it our basketball holder. Everybody hold it. Good. Yeah, stop bouncing the ball. Okay. Everybody? Good. Okay. So now we're going to get super tricky and I want you to try to dribble. And remember when you're dribbling, you don't use, what's this called? Your palm, right? You want to use your finger, pa finger pads, fingertips, finger pads. Yeah. Okay. So everybody practice dribbling and you might need to look down because these balls are super bouncier than a regular basketball. So if you want to look up, look down, look up, look down. And, uh, the partner that has um, the that is the closest to the right wall is going to go first. Cool. All right. Ready? Go. I wish I had our music today. If we had our music, we, this could be such a fun game. I can't believe I forgot it. Okay. Good. Everybody, you're walking around. Yeah. Good. Keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes if you can. You can walk or stay still. Excellent. Okay. Everybody. Come back to your poly spots. Whistle. All right. Sit down, sit down. All right, so we're going to end, like I said, with our cool down and our mindfulness. And it's actually two things in one, okay? Our cool down and mindfulness. First off, everybody did an excellent job today. Everybody clap. The last thing I want you to do is get a partner, okay, that has the same color sneakers as you. All right? Okay. And if you don't have a partner, come over here. I'll be your partner. Cool. All right, the friendship zone. Yes, yes, we're here. Okay, so partners, what I want you to do is stand up and hug yourself. Close your eyes. I want you to take three deep breaths in. And exhale big. <sighs> yeah, it makes a funny noise, right? Okay, and now I want you to... Everybody grab a seat, sit down. I want you to uh, do your butterfly, yes. And while you're doing your butterfly, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to breathe three breaths through your mouth. And then breathe out. Good, everybody stand back up, all right. I know this stretch is fun, our teapot stretch. Everybody, with your teapot stretch, what I want you to do is I want you to think of something you need to practice. Okay, and when you close your eyes, I want you to think of practicing that with your friend tomorrow. Ready, go. Don't forget to breathe. Good job. Whatever we do for the left side, we got to do, yeah, for the right. Think of something you need to practice tomorrow. Dr. S needs to practice bringing his radio and not being forgetful. Okay, everybody. Everybody sit down. Excellent. Okay, right where you are is good. Okay, so today we worked on I can move my body in different ways. How many different ways? Like 100? Yeah. Well, not 100, but at least, at least 20 or 30, right? And then we worked on standard one. We ID the movements. And then uh, I assessed you. And remember, those of you that weren't out of four today, maybe by tomorrow you'll be out of four. We'll race that three. Thanks, everybody. 
remember, um, as you line up to leave, uh, your teacher has you in a specific order. So um, you're not next to your friends. You're in your number order. Excellent. Okay, and you can line up on the left wall over here. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, class. Be safe. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.